Some of you have asked how we plan on securing the Ultimate Mobile Workshop as we travel around the country towing thousands of dollars worth of tools. TrailerAlarms.com has sent us the most comprehensive trailer alarm system I've ever seen. I'm super excited to get this installed and I'm very curious actually how it all works. So let's head over to the bench, we'll look at the parts and then start the install. So this is the main control box that controls everything. Uh, for entry we have both a keypad and three key fobs. These are the sensors for the cabinet doors. These are the sensors for the ramp door. This is the little device that will send us a notification on our cell phone. And then this is the siren. When we were having the trailer made at Lark, we had them pre-wire the entire thing with wire so that everything is gonna be nice and neat and hidden. So we'll probably install the control box right up there. So I've got a little multimeter here to see if this is a close enough proximity to each other. So if I put these together, I get no signal. If I open the door, it turns it on. So I think this is what I'm gonna do for windows that have this three quarter inch trim around it like this. The wiring on these is extremely straightforward. One terminal goes to ground that you ground to the chassis of the trailer or the frame of the trailer. And then the other is tied into the common that I'm gonna run up to the control box. I'm gonna use these little connectors just because I have them. You could of course just screw these directly in. Okay, next up we've got the rear door sensor which just bolts through this way. And then when the door closes, actuates that way. My two-way drawers were just a bit challenging because I had so little room to spare, but I was able to stuff it behind there and then now when the door closes, it goes exactly flush right next to it. Hooking up the brake engage feature uh, was pretty straightforward. All I did was went in and found the two wires that were coming from my brake switch. There's a blue one and a black one. Uh, and I used my multimeter and I put my positive lead on the blue one and my negative on my negative and I have zero voltage coming through right now but if I pull my safety pin and if I touch my negative now you can see I have voltage which means that this is the side that I want to hook the brake line that I ran from the control panel but you might be asking what happens if I accidentally have a wire come loose or the brakes engage while I'm driving well this little switch here makes it so you can't. When it's in the off position, the brake lock feature is disengaged. So you always want this off while you're towing. If you happen to have it on when you go to pull away, not only will the siren sound every time you tap the brakes, if you have the cellular device like I do, it will also send you a text message warning you that your uh, brake engage is left on. All right, I've got everything installed and working perfectly. Uh, but before I put the covers on and all the trim back to hide all the wires, Thought I'd show you how it's kind of set up. Up on the top here, you've got your sensors and power. So this one on the left is just ground, that's going to the chassis. This one here is from the keypad. So out of this keypad are three wires. There's a positive, a ground, and a data, or normally open a switch wire. So I've got my ground, the black one, just running straight up to the frame and just grounded there. My power is running to the trunk line that goes all the way around the whole trailer of 12 volts. And then I only have to run one normally open switch wire all the way around and to the control box. Next to that is my main sensor lead. So I have this coming out and then you'll notice it comes into this wire nut and then splits off into the two sides of my trailer. If you have a normal trailer, you'll probably only have these two wires. You'll have your rear door and your side door and a sensor going to each. I, on the other hand, have nine openings. So what I did is I ran one, what we'll call like a trunk wire, running down both sides, and then that runs the whole length of the RV. And everywhere I had a door, I just dropped one more wire down and then spliced in using a connector kind of like this one. Next to that, you've got your main 12 volt source for the control box. So that I just have tapped into a wire that's going straight down to my battery box. And then next to that, you have an auxiliary port that can be used for anything you want. Whenever the siren is triggered, this is triggered as well. So not using it now, but I may see a Raspberry Pi hack in the future for that one. Over here, these top two black wires are literally just a short run right down to our switch right here for the brake lock disengage. Below that is the output for the siren. So uh, whenever the alarm is triggered, it sends 12 volts both to the cellular transmitter and to the actual siren itself. Below that is the brake line, which runs directly to the brake box. 
and applies power there. And then finally below that is the clearance light. So when you press the button, it flashes the lights to let you know you're armed. And when it's going off, all the lights just start flashing. So the cellular transmitter, so you have 12 volt positive in and negative in right here on the right. And then on the input one, you need this one to go to your siren so that when the siren goes off, it also sends a text message. And then what I missed earlier was this common. You just have to ground your input anywhere. And so my input just goes right up there. Well, we've had the system installed for a few weeks now, and I have to say it has performed flawlessly. And last night was a perfect example. We arrived at our campground late. We couldn't fit in our spot. So we ended up here at a Cracker Barrel because they allow overnight parking if you're a guest. Being able to go in, set the alarm, and know that if it goes off, I'm gonna receive a text message, I'm gonna hear the siren, is awesome. I can come inside, put in the code. I have nine seconds to leave. And then I see the lights flash and we're armed. So let's say someone comes in the middle of the night and jimmies this door open. And let's give them the benefit of doubt. They see the alarm and they go off and run away. Doesn't matter, alarm is going off, lights are flashing, the electric brakes are locked up, and I get a text message that quickly. And I can turn it off with the pop. So here we are in the cab, and you can see if I touch my trailer brakes, siren's going off, and in just a second, there it is. Text message reminding me to go turn off the emergency brake switch. There you have it, all installed, working perfectly. I have to thank TrailerAlarms.com. Could you ask for a more comprehensive system than that? I don't know what else it could possibly do to alert you that something's going on with the trailer. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the install, and we will see you in the next video.